I'm from Marine, uh, Marine Performance System, and I'm, I have a key message to you. We can reduce fuel consumption by 20% because we have a second generation elevation technology. Green shipping, that's one. Green shipping is changing the industry at an unprecedented change. But how to get there is not very clear. So every ship owner is left to find his own path as operating costs, as fuel costs are increasing. Goldman Sachs estimate that because of the IMO sulfur cap this year, the industry is going to face an additional cost of 240 billion US dollars. So everyone is looking for ways to reduce cost. But there is an elephant in the room, and that's a legacy of an existing fleet of 90,000 ships that cannot be scrapped overnight. So if you really need to reduce costs, you need to find a way how to optimize these ships. One way is to reduce the friction when the ship is sailing. And we can do that. We have a solution that can address 65% of the existing fleet. Our technology, which is patent, and second generation air lubrication technology, can generate up to 80 million bubbles per second creating a stable control air layer underneath the ship, effectively making the ship glide through waters. The system is installed as a wing-shaped band underneath the ship when in dry dock, usually in eight to 10 days, which is known period. It is, uh, does not require any structural modification and no recertification afterwards. And can offer up to 20% fuel savings, and that is 50% better than first technology, first generation technologies. And the savings are independent of fuel types today and in the future, or the speed of the vessel. The market for retrofitting is huge. There's 91,000 ships, as I said, and we can address 65% of these. To start off, we'll be starting with the very large to large ones, there's 16,000 of these. 20% goes into dry dock every year, and we aim to install our solution on 200 of these, giving us a market share of 6%. The business case for a ship owner is a, re is a return on investment of two to three years, depending on the ship type, its operating profile, and the fuel cost. Our competition are primarily within a new build, so we are in the sweet spot for the retrofit market. We will have manufacturing in the Netherlands, but we will have manufacturing hubs across the globe because we can install it worldwide. So who are we? If you look carefully, you can see I have some gray hairs, and my, so do my co-founders. Between us, we combine more than 120 years of experience from corporates within all key areas of our business. We know how to develop and to mature a technology into a solution. We were formally established in 2018 when two companies joined forces, a marine technology company and a marine engineering company with more than 10 years of experience in the retrofit market. Since our start, we've been awarded many prestigious awards, but lately it was the EU seal of excellence. But more importantly, we have been receiving the trust of the market, ship owners. So we have a pipeline for this year and the beginning of next year. We have been self-funded from the beginning by the co-founders. We received seed funding from the Dutch Enterprise Agency. Now we are raising a Series A round of four millions that together with a credit line from to working capital will be sufficient to take us to market and to break even in 2022. We do not expect additional dilution. The money will be spent on gaining speed to market to get a foothold across different ship types and to build a global organization. One thing that's interesting as an investor is that in December, we won the first prize in the offshore wind technology scan because our technology is really unique. Thank you for listening. Myself and my co-founder will be around if you want to hear or you want to see it. Actually, in my pocket, I have what is the pattern, which is the core of the technology in one-to-one -one size. This is actually the unit that creates 30,000 bubbles per second. And this is our magic sauce. <laughs> so the key message today was basically we can reduce fuel consumption up to 20%. We'll return investment around two years because we have a second generation air lubrication. Thank you. I did it.
Very good. Merci. Thank you. Florida, let's already we have a, a question in the front row. And, uh, yes. my, my question is, did you already uh, run a pilot with your technology, or is it just uh, theoretical, the 20%? We uh, are in the process of putting on a ship in May at this point. Adam Atehegan, Digital Startup Academy. Uh, just a question linked to um, your technology. As, as success stories and failures, lessons learned, learned, did you look into uh, aeronautic uh, kind of industry in order to, because they are facing a lot of uh, inefficiency in terms of costs and uh, fuel consumption, and not only. Uh, d d d uh, I mean, in, um, when you build your, your model in terms of uh, um, how much you can reduce the costs, et cetera, et cetera, did you look into a kind of success stories that manage, I mean, other industry that you can extrapolate on, on shipping industry? Uh, yes and no. But when we developed our technology, obviously we looked into, could we apply to different uh, industries? But basically we analyzed the first generation lubrication technology first. And we took all the lessons learned from the first movers within that industry and that technology and said, okay, how can we improve the inst instability of that technology? How can we... The first, technology, first generation technology basically worked on the principle of pumping air. We generate air. That is why we can generate so many small bubbles of a diameter of about four millimeters. So basically the ship is gliding through waters on ball bearings. Thank okay. you. Time for another question. Yeah. I understand, I understand you talked about the main target is retrofitting, but why should not every new built ship have the system if it is that profitable in saving fuel? We are currently speaking to some shipbuildings about that, but that will be in 2025, according to projections. Your, your, your first yes. target is the retrofit? Yes, that's 91,000. Yeah, interesting. 